So this is the first of two questions I'm going to go through with respect to enthalpy of solution. So it's not just calculations that are involved here, but we also need to talk about definitions and so on and so forth. So the first question here is define the term enthalpy of solution. Well, that's the enthalpy change when one mole of an ionic substance is dissolved to form a solution of infinite dilution. Now, the important parts here are, in fact, the fact that we're actually dissolving one mole of an ionic substance, which is dissolved to form a solution of infinite dilution. OK, so that's really, really important aspect of that definition. Question two, write the equation that represents the enthalpy of solution of magnesium chloride. So we have our definition. It's a specific salt that they want us to write the equation for. So of course we take one mole of magnesium chloride, solid magnesium chloride, and that gives us one mole of magnesium ions, which are in aqueous solution, and two moles of chloride ions that are in aqueous solution. So it's a balanced equation, but of course it's one mole of that salt that's being dissolved. Thirdly, we come to our calculation, which is what we've come to expect with these enthalpies of solutions. So we've got some information about magnesium chloride. So calculate the enthalpy of solution for magnesium chloride, given that. Well, we've got delta H lattice of MgCl2. We've got delta H hydration of the magnesium ions and delta H hydration of the chloride ions. And as we'd expect, this is an endothermic process because we're having to break the lattice and these are exothermic processes. So what do we need to do first? Well, always write out your equation, which is delta H solution equals delta H lattice breaking, don't forget positive, plus the sum of our delta H hydrations. So I would always just get in the habit of writing the full equation out first, and then we can start putting some numbers in. So we've got our 2493, which is a positive value there for our lattice breaking. We're then gonna add our hydration of magnesium ions, which is plus minus 1920. And then we're gonna add uh, minus 364. But be careful, they've asked you to write this equation purposefully because we are actually dealing with two moles of chloride ions because our formula is MgCl2. So we need to double this value here for chlorine. So it's plus two times minus three, six, four. OK, so we'll put that into our calculator. So that is plus two, four, nine, three plus minus one nine two oh of course you can just put minus in there if you want but i'm just doing it for, you know without kind of simplifying this plus two times minus three six four close brackets and that equals minus one hundred and fifty five kilojoules per mole so that's a negative delta h solution that we've got there okay now even if this answer comes up positive which it isn't in this case but if it did come out positive please make sure you put the sign in there because the examiner won't assume that you mean a positive value so with your answer always put a sign in front okay so that's a nice straightforward enthalpy of solution calculation